How's everybody doing tonight? Woo. Fantastic. My name is Harrison Brookie. I'm Jason Underwood. I'm Ben Burris. And we are a piece of alchemy comedy. Um, we uh, do weekly shows every week here in Greenville, and um, we get asked to come do a show here. And our thought was, uh, let me give you guys a piece of what improv comedy is. Improv comedy isn't so much all about games. It isn't always about just making things up. That's not just what it is. We here at Alchemy Comedy think that improv is about seeing the world a little bit differently. So this is how we saw TEDx Greenville. We're going to walk through some of these TEDx things and uh, show you maybe how we saw it. Um, our very first TED talk was Bradford Swan. He talked about the first EV ecosystem. So I'm really thinking uh, electric cars. We've done that a long time. Yeah. It went yeah. well. Yeah. I still drive a regular car. But, uh, but you, if you want to do electric, that's fine. No, you guys called me in. I think you should hear my ID out. Okay. Right? It's the first EV ecosystem, all right? The first equestrian vehicle system that's been seen in the southeast. Okay, so like my car goes like, I don't know, zero to 60 in 20 seconds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, my car goes uh, zero to uh, 20 in 60 seconds. With a cross breeze. Yeah. Right, 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 right. <laughs> Uh, and see, mine, mine can go uh, about zero to six furlongs in a couple days, <laughs> which is pretty impressive for a single horse. I was going to say, what's, uh, what's the engine time? Mine's about 300 horsepower. Yeah, I got about uh, nine horsepower. Just one. It's a single horse. <laughs> now, you can get a stagecoach. That gets you up to four horsepower. Uh -huh. How clean is it? I mean, regular car is not that clean. My car pretty clean, you know, runs on uh, electricity. Well, my, mine runs on pure hay, all natural, all natural, and depending on what uh, kind of hay it eats, it comes out perfectly green. <laughs> um, after that, we uh, heard Caleb Suttles uh, talk about his pre-do life and a life without regret. <sighs> That's pretty good. You, you sure? Because I've been interviewing a lot of people in the upstate, and they seem to have a lot of regrets in their life, so there's nothing... <laughs> What? <laughs> Not me. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. <laughs> <laughs> really? You sure? There's like nothing. Look back at your life like a lost opportunity. And, you know, uh, you, you, you know, just teach me. <laughs> you know, something, something that, that you, long lost love, long lost Nope. Job. I married every girl I met. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't want to have to do this, uh, but I noticed earlier that you parked in a handicapped spot. And uh, I called the towing company. They're towing you right now. Heck yeah, don't got to take it home. Great. <laughs> I live near the towing place. I do that all the time. Hey, uh, I'm your boss. Uh, you're fired. Sweet. Uh, you've been calling a lot of people, telling them about really also, inappropriate things. So You're fired. You just lost your job. I mean, that's... Man, you know how much more time I got to, to like, marry chicks? <laughs> well, okay, what about this? What about this? Uh, I, I, um, I, picked up, uh, I picked up one of your kids from school today, and I gave him a good punch in the face. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I thought that you were going to be such an optimist, such a jerk, simultaneously an optimist, mm -hmm. uh, that, 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 that I knew you were going to do that, so I punched your kid in the face. Well, he's always the bully. You know, oh, it's good he gets on. one. Seriously? Seriously? With, yeah, and, I, and also... Your, your, your wife is dead. Because of something you did. Like which one? I mean, uh... <laughs> <laughs> After that, we saw um, a, a video uh, about building marshmallow towers and, uh, and how kindergartners were more impressive. <laughs> oh, All right, oh, look, uh, look, guys. Um, I, I called you in here because the, the building that we're building... Is, uh, is total crap. Okay, this we're supposed to. I, it's supposed to be the tallest building in the world, and we've been building it for five years and nothing. I feel like it's a very solid structure. No, no, it's not. Okay, it's not. Do you have anything to say for yourself? I've been talking with my kid. <laughs> He's got some great ideas. I was just I was just waiting for an opportunity. What if we built a side building with Legos? It's a giant tower to secure the structure. No, we're looking for a height, pure height here. All right, we, we want silly putty. Silly putty stretches forever. 
Look, look, look. Kansas City is only known for being the same name as its state. All right? We're trying to blow Kansas City up here. And, We're and, and, what? And, no. <laughs> don't, don't try to blow anything up. We're trying to blow the image up. You know, make it bigger. People want to be known. If oh. you put Silly Putty on a thing on a newspaper and then you stretch it out, it gets bigger. We get it. We know Silly Putty. We know. Fine. No, I'm talking about fundamental engineering tricks here to build a tall tower. Like connects? Like or Lincoln Logs? <laughs> I really Maybe. feel like cinder blocks is probably. Yeah, I think cinder blocks is a way to go. Guess. <laughs> like if, if your kid had great ideas, we'd hire him. All right? Why don't you hire him? What? Wait, you get your, your, your rules against hiring a four-year-old? <laughs> let's, let's see that interview. Yeah. Look, son, um, we're looking. Your dad has recently been fired. I know it's big news for you. Um, but we're looking to hire someone else with some more innovative ideas. What about Legos? <laughs> your dad already pitched that, and it was kind of a flop. OK, well, I got a portfolio full of drawings. Oh. This one's mommy. That's cute. And uh, this one's a, a dog, oh, but it's a, a pink dog. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's exciting. Anything building related? I've got this 3D draft I did up in AutoCAD. I was wondering if I could do something. After that, we heard a talk from Jennifer Pinkering about living life as a festival. All Look, right, you, you guys ready to live your life like a festival? Oh, uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'm going to, OK, I'm going to get real drunk. <laughs> and then I'm going to wake up. And then I'm going to top it off by getting drunk again. All right, you're living life like a kegger. We're talking about living life like a festival, like a, like a cultural fest or an art festival. Or... OK. Oh, you mean like, OK, I can I, like a... I'm every day I wake up and I uh, shoot fireworks off. Yeah. It's more, yeah, just. It's more like a small county parade. We're talking about like a, like a festival, like. Like enjoying uh, other people's like culture. Like deep fried Snicker bars, funnel cakes. That's a state fair. Okay. I bought an elephant. Yeah. I, yeah, I could juggle. You're like, again, this is a circus. Let's live our life together. Let's yes, do it. Yeah. Seriously. What's, what? Yeah. We're talking about living like a festival. How are like, you living your life? Yeah. Well, you know, I, I go to places that have free food. You're a bum. Yeah. No, no, it's living like, like a festival. That sounds like you're living your life like a homeless person. <laughs> <laughs> um, then we saw a combo video about uh, how uh, chemicals can affect your body and your baby. And uh, John Tennant did a talk about uh, how, uh, we can, how Greenville has great clean water. Ugh. Hey, buddy. Huh? You want to buy some water? I got pure Greenville. What? None of that Greenwood stuff. <laughs> what else you want? Easily, Seltzer, Pelzer, what you want? What you want? <laughs> um, awesome. Then uh, Glennis Redmond talked about uh, poetry as healing and uh, did a, a great poem about Mama's magic. All right, uh, welcome to the Poetry Festival. Uh, we're actually running out of time, so we're going to have our last two poets go at the same time. Funny enough, both are about their mom, uh, and we'll just kind of play it back and forth. <laughs> to my mom, who is the bomb, you rock my world, mom. My mama's the best. She's always giving, tucking me in when I gotta rest. <laughs> my, my mom makes my house feel like a home. She gives me a hug when I'm alone. She's the best. She's the best. She's the best. <laughs> my mama makes cookies. Hey, my, looky, looky. My mom makes cookie cakes. <laughs> my mom makes. Cookie with ice cream in the middle. My, my, my mom invented the chocolate chip cookie. My mom uh, punched Sarah Lee in the face. <laughs> my, mom, my mom was there, and, and she's actually the one who then knocked out Muhammad Ali. My mom landed on the moon. My mom founded America. My mom 
Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Are you going to take that? Mom, mom. Sorry, I felt the vibe. I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, then we uh, heard, oh, we saw a, a great performance about um, going through Minivaz from the Ungirdled Truths. <laughs> Hello, I'm the Minipause Fairy. I think you got me mistaken with somebody else. I'm a dude. Oh. <laughs> I'm not some cut-rate tooth fairy. I know who's what. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm sorry, you have me, you've, got me, you've got me mistaken. Why? Mistaken for what? What do you I'm mean? Not a, I can't go through menopause. I'm not a woman. Oh, if I look close at those testes, there's some <laughs> ovaries in there. I'm not some kind of weird frog experiment. I'm a man. Oh. You sure are sweating a lot, huh? <laughs> It's just because it's warm in here. It's, a, it's warm in my bathroom. I just got out of the shower. So you're nervous. I'm you nervous? <laughs> I'm nervous because I'm about to be assaulted by the menopause fairy. Oh. You're getting kind of hot flashes, are you? It's not hot flashes. <laughs> Look, is, is there any way to get out of menopause? Pregnancy. All right, give me the menopause. Give me the menopause. <laughs> Um, then we saw uh, Ian do a uh, tell us about, or not tell us about, Right Club. All right, you guys, first, first rule about Right Club. Nobody talks about Right Club. Okay. Second rule about Right Club. Nobody does a TED talk about Right Club. Cool. Can we write about it? Yeah, that's fine. Oh. <laughs> um, then we, uh, we saw uh, Carol Hamilton talk about feng shui. Oh, thanks for inviting us over to your hey, place. Hey, you guys, it's so glad to finally have you over here. It's my new place. No one's really got a chance to see it. I, yeah. love, the, I love what you've done. It's yeah, beautiful. It's nice Great. Awesome. I'm going to go finish up uh, supper, so if you guys just okay. hang out. Just oh, make yourself at home. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's, that's great. Okay. Okay, he's got two chairs there. What does that mean about him? <laughs> Um, it looks like he's got a relationship, but there's a third chair over there in the corner. Uh oh. Oh, that sounds like trouble. Sounds like a. You guys are right in there? Yeah, everything's hey. great. We're having a great time. Is your wife or someone coming over later? Maybe a girlfriend or a lover? <laughs> you guys. <laughs> okay, he's got a picture of Spain on the wall. He's either trying to get to Spain or he killed someone in Spain. Or... Maybe he's sleeping with someone named Spain. <laughs> Spaghetti, okay? That is great. Did you say Spain? Did you say Spain? It sounds like he says Spain Getty. Spain Getty? Spaghetti. Okay. He's definitely he's killing someone right now in his kitchen. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that because he's got a small ottoman, but then he's got a larger ottoman over here. Murder. Here, let's twist the ottoman around. Let's see what happens. I'm going to take the painting. What and the heck's going on in here? <laughs> you changed my house. You changed me. Hey, hey. Um, then we had Syntax the Terrific in two different parts to talk about uh, song blogging in the moments. Hey man, uh, I got a new, uh, I got a, a record, I've been working on it for a long time. So some of, the, some of the stuff might sound a little dated, but what? I think it's still got some edge to it. You do music? That's cool. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What, I'd love to hear uh, yeah, something. So, so listen, to this, listen to this track. How's the election gonna end? Is Obama gonna win? Or McCain? We don't know. Wait, what? I, I recorded this song a while ago. It's just, I've had a lot of post-production went into this. I got another one, I got another one, I got another one. You're worse than Jay-Z, you're worse than, you're worse than Dr. Dre. Okay, hold on, but listen, 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 listen. Okay, here we go. Rock, 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 you're all killed. I've been following for six seasons. What's the finale of loss gonna look like? That already happened too, man. Give, no, you, you do current songs. Give me a current song. This is a current song. I've just finished it. I just finished the song, so it's still current. Here, I got, I got one last one. I got one last one. Exploring the new world. All these spices to send back to space. That's <laughs> 15 seconds. Awesome. Uh, then we, uh, we saw uh, from New Worlds of Learning uh, a, a, a talk about virtual learning.
So you can see this is your avatar right here, all right? And so you, you, got, a, you got a big TED Talk coming up. Okay. And we're going to walk you through a training video of doing a TED Talk. So you can actually control him right here in the computer. Ooh. Yep. And, and then things will pop up and be like you're actually there. Cool. So you can just go ahead and start and just you know, all right, go uh, ahead and do what you're going to do. Oh, uh-oh. A uh, cell phone just came on. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, what are you going to do? Ignore. Don't, don't be nervous. Ignore. 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 Very smart. <laughs> very, very smart. Awesome. Oh, wait. With this, this wait. Give a quick glare. Quick glare. Yeah. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> nice. Nice. Mouth, mouth something silently. Uh huh. Good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh oh. Back we, to back. We got to a technical it. difficulty. You need to stall for a while. Um. Just see if you can just stall. glare. Just glare a little just bit. Just glare some more. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Just give him a glare. Don't want to over glare. Do it. Don't over glare. Uh. Sorry. I got glare happy. I got yeah. glare happy. Don't want to get too glare. Um, how about uh? How about tell a quick story? Oh, that's good. Yeah. yeah. Ba ba banter back and forth. That's good. We like that. Uh oh, uh oh, you and your co-host are matching. What are you gonna do? Uh, gonna take do? my shirt off, take no, my shirt off. No, don't do that, don't do that. That's our show! <laughs> Thank you!